Would you like to see this happen? You know, I think something like this is that I think you have to run it by LeBron. Um, obviously, you understand what Kyrie is. He's a, num he's a phenomenal scorer of the basketball, can dance with it, uh, can shoot the three mid-range, can finish at the rim with either hand. Man has more English than Shakespeare. But... Skip, that's what got them in trouble. You remember when they had AD and LeBron and they had quality depth? They had quality depth, but somehow Rob Palenka got, got seduced by, we need more stars. Got more, you got another star in Russ, but you lost all your depth. If you look at, Skip, look at the Phoenix Suns. What cost them? Devin Booker and KD was going haywire with the exception of game six. Yep. And they was losing these games because the depth, the bench. And you look at team, and he's like, why? I, look, I, I get it. I, I get Kyrie. I get the infatuation with Kyrie because he can get you 25, 30, 50 points, and he makes it look easy doing that. But, it, but at, what, at what cost, Skip? You notice when they got, they, 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 they traded all their depth and got Russ, what happened? Missed the playoffs. Have Russ this year, trade Russ, what happened, Skip? Western Conference Finals, here they go. That's not an accident. Nope. I mean, people need to... That's not an accident that that happened. Look, I like Kyrie, but if if if, if it's me, I'm going to re-sign uh, Rui, I'm going to re-sign Austin Reeves, and I'm going to try to find some, some, some quality depth, some shooters to put around AD and LeBron. That's yeah. what I would do. Okay. Quick point of order. I'm not sure Rob Palenka got seduced by Russ because... Both LeBron and AD were campaigning behind the scenes for Russ. I, I don't think Rob really wanted to deal with well, Russ. They, well, they wanted a third superstar, and the best guy probably for the job would have been DeMar DeRozan, who was willing to take, they said on my podcast, he's willing to take less money yep. to play alongside those two guys. He I believe he'd fit. I yeah. believe he would have a better fit yeah. than Russ. Yeah. Oh, a thousand times. Because all of a sudden, thanks to LeBron and AD pushing for Russ, they got stuck with Russ. Mm -hmm. And I still, I'm going to say it again, Rob Polinka should have been executive of the year for getting out from <laughs> just under Just because Russ. of that alone, yeah, huh? Just that. That cleared the decks. <laughs> it lifted the cloud. And all of a sudden, they took off because they added pieces that all fit. So, to me, when we deal with these, like, fantasy basketball proposals, yes. that's what they amount to right. to me, all I care about is retain, 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 because I just watched four straight games in which you had four straight shots to win the game. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Shannon, if, if you just win a couple of them, we're, we're still going. We're, we're having conversation here. Maybe it goes to game seven at Denver. You, you just have to close one of the deals. And yet, remember, these guys hadn't played a lot of games together, right? right? What if you gave... It, what if you could retain what you have, right. basically? I'm, I'm talking about these core yeah, players. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm including Lonnie Walker in there. Okay. If you could retain Austin Reeves, no done deal, because he's going to get a lot of money offered. You're going to have to match. Yep. Rui mm -hmm. could, could be offered. He's just a free agent, obviously. And Lonnie Walker, who I saw some anonymous quotes yesterday, people are speculating, he's going to get a big contract right. offer. If you can figure out how to keep those three, mm -hmm. along with, obviously... What are you going to do with Shooter? Okay, well, I still like him. I, mean, I, I like I, him too, I mean, but... I mean, I hope you can keep I, him. I think he's going to be wanting more than a minimum deal. <laughs> well, because he once upon a time, he, he turned down a, like a not a max, million but, but it was ridiculous what he turned down. Well, he ain't getting that back. <laughs> I know, I, I got it. I'm just saying, if you can work some cap mag magic just to, to retain what you have, what you have is really good. Right. Does LeBron need some kind of cleanup surgery? I'm not sure, but if he does, I hope he gets it, and right. I hope he's revitalized, and I hope he's reinvigorated, and AD is not an old man. No. He, he's, he's in the heart of his prime. You, you've got all this right here at your fingertips. Just try to preserve it. Okay. Because, hey, Darvin Ham was a rookie first-year coach. You don't think he learned a lot in his of first year? Of course he did, yeah. Hey, let's run it back. But right. Let, let's give him a training camp to figure everybody out. Right. Austin Reeves was just now coming into his own through these playoffs, and, right. and he was shooting 55% from right. three. Okay? He's figured it out. What, Shannon, what, what if you go through a whole schedule? What if you can keep LeBron reasonably, uh, keep them all reasonably healthy? Right. Would, would I count you? Heck no. Yeah. You, you I, have I think, a shot. I think, I think we could hope to get 65 games out of LeBron. Okay, that would work. That would work. But yeah. Skip, look at the Miami Heat. What do they have? They don't beat you with superstar talent. They beat you with depth. Yeah. 
You look at the Boston. Well, I don't know. I don't know if they beat you with depth. The Heat. Yeah, I'm saying, but I mean they've no, lost most of their no, depth. No, but I'm, no, but I'm saying, but Skip, when you look at them, look at Struce, look at those guys, yeah. Gabe Benson, okay. look at the Caleb right. Martins, guys yeah. like that. They don't have. They don't. They're not littered with superstars. They don't have no. two, three superstars. No. I'm saying. You look at Boston. What did they do, Skip? Uh, it's the Derek Whites. It's the Malcolm Brogdon's. You got the two guys, and then you got they. They got they fill out the roster with a Grant Williams and those type of a guys, Skip. So you get three superstars, Skip. You are gonna have basically ten minimum guys. That's what you you, you got to figure that out. <laughs> so you, you, okay, is there a way to go find? I still think Malik Beasley is a good shooter. I do. The numbers say he was. But at sixteen okay. million. Okay, I got you, and. There's that phenomenon you always bring up. You bring him to L.A., out of Minnesota, and all of a sudden you put him on the Crip stage next to LeBron, LeBron James, yeah. and, and he's he, he, doing he, he this, shakes, right? Yeah, he's shaking. Yeah, he's okay. he real shaking. All right. So, look at, and let's get, look at, go look at the Nuggets. It's Bruce Brown. On a nightly basis, he, he, it was, he, he it, was the, it was the Michael him. Porter Jr. It's Skip, it, and now nah, I get it. Michael Porter Jr. is making a king's ransom, yeah. but I'm saying you need you need quality, you need depth now. Well, there there two new key pieces were Bruce Brown and KCP. Yes, hey, they changed yes. life for yes. those guys. Sure, you got to have Joker and you got to have Jamal. You you got those now are, now are, what? Those are your defensive guys yeah. along with Aaron Gordon because yeah. Aaron Gordon normally takes the toughest matchup. He does. He, he's going to yeah. guard the KDs. Yeah. KCP is going to try to deal with with the, with the Devin Booker. So they got two guys, and then when they bring Bruce Brown in, he's a defensive guy. But now he's found a way to give you 10, 11 points a game offensively. Okay. I think though that in lines with more what the Lakers. All right. Need. So I think Laker Nation. In the depths, the, the throes of its, <laughs> of its sorrow over getting swept, even though there were four close games, it, it never felt like it was embarrassing. It wasn't humiliating. No. You just you just lost four close right. games. But Laker Nation gets seduced by the prospect of Kyrie Irving. It's, 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 Kyrie Irving. It's, you, okay. you know the people that's worn the purple and gold. <laughs> I mean, the biggest name I mean, of the top ten players, you can make a case, Skip. Four or five of them is worn, worn purple and gold. Agreed. Magic, Kareem, LeBron, Will, uh, Shaq, Kobe. I mean, they wore the purple and gold. I agree. And if you in Hollywood, you see, you don't see any other place, any other arena that has any more stars than with that Laker game. You can go to Madison Square Garden. You can go to the Boston Garden. Hell, you go in the garden in your backyard. You ain't going to find Jack Nichols. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're not going to find Denzel no. and Eddie Murphy. No. And, and, and Adam Sandler. And who's who? Michael B. Yeah, but come yep. on now. So you got to have that stars like watching stars. Okay, I get that. <laughs> what happened when Kyrie left LeBron and went to Boston? And then what happened? When that flamed out and Kyrie went to Brooklyn, what happened? No, nothing good happened. No. What, what happened when Kyrie joined Luka? They busted together. Yeah. And it wasn't all Kyrie's fault. They just didn't fit. Right. And all of a sudden, Mark Cuban is stuck because he screwed up and he let Jalen Brunson go to the Knicks. So, so now he has no choice but to, to do his damnedest, and it might be his damnedest, to do everything in his financial power to keep Kyrie He's going to have to. He has to. He has and no who choice. knows? Kyrie might be just driving the price up. Okay. Well, he well. I might. keep. Hey, you know, hey, he keep going to the Lego game. Like, man, he might go. To, I'm gonna have to just offer him I the agree. max. Plus, he has his off season place out here. Yeah. But where else is he gonna go? Right. He's gonna go to the Laker game because Jack's there and everybody's right. there, right? right? And he likes to see him be seen like all the but rest. Skip, of them. This is a different time. I don't remember, and that could have happened. But start, but the superstar players, they normally commented. Like, if Magic didn't make the playoffs, uh, the, the finals, he would comment on Boston and whomever. Or Isaiah would do the same thing, or they'd get somebody. I, I don't remember superstars coming and sitting courtside mm -hmm. and watching, other, watching the players play like in, the 70, like in the 80s and the 90s. Or even 2000s. Do you remember? The two, like, the 2000s. Mm -hmm. This is a new phenomenon, Skip. Yeah, it is. They would watch. Yes! Yeah, Yo, they watch. But I'm yeah. saying, like, courtside? I mean, for most of them, it'd be too painful to go yes. do that. Right? I mean, I see uh, uh, Ant Man. Yeah, he's been he's, he's been, been a, he's been a lot of games. I see a lot of uh, the guys showing up, and I'm not saying anything is wrong with it. It's just like I'm like, damn, okay. y'all must y'all really like the game. All right, so I'm going to remind you, Kyrie has been very open about how he no longer prioritizes basketball. Okay. It's not his main passion in life. Okay, it's something he does because he's good at it. Mm -hmm. He's gifted at it. Do, do you really want that? I, I'm going to give you this. If any other superstar could make it work with Kyrie, it's going to be this guy. Well, yeah, yeah. B because 
LeBron already made it work right. with him, and I think I underestimated just how great that achievement was yeah. because I don't think it was any small task <laughs> because now we hear the reports of Kyrie through the last couple of years in Cleveland with LeBron. What was he, he didn't speak to his teammates. He was aloof. He was distant. He was unto himself. <sighs> okay? It's hard. And I think and the they thing made it, it work. It takes a special type of person to understand someone's idiosyncrasies. Yeah. Because everybody's not outgoing, has a bubbly personality. Sometimes people react and deal with things a different way. Sometimes, hey, you come in here, you're happy. The next day you come in here, don't talk to me. Uh, LeBron, okay. like, all right. he, he dealt with all that. He can deal with it. He knows. And I think that's what makes him a really a great leader, Skip. Okay. He said you understand what makes each guy tick. And then okay. you work around that. So is Mark Cuban really going to sit back and say, boy, I love this idea of a sign and trade. Yeah, give me that first. It's in 2029 because we've lost a first. Guess but... what? And that'll be that'll be the only first you got because Luke will be long gone by the end. Okay. Luke ain't going to keep sitting around much longer, Skip, with this losing. Okay, I, I got it. But, <laughs> but Mark Cuban's going to say, wait, I get what? I get D'Angelo Russell, who they're out on because yeah. he failed in the playoffs. How are you going to play with Luca? Okay. Well, that's why I'm asking you. If I'm Mark Hewitt, I'm saying, seriously? You want me to do that? Mark would he Would he take Hachimura? Sure he would. Yeah. But but is Hachimura going to save, no. he, change he, he, lives? He, he, no. He's not saving Earth. No, he's, no. Not a super, <laughs> he's not a superhero, Skip. <laughs> okay. So I don't get that one. And then another proposal I saw on Bleacher Report was basically – Trade AD for Trey Young. That's basically what the package was. And I'm like, what? why would the Lakers even fathom yeah. doing that? What? Who, who would bring that idea? Because, you know, both both guys are clutch clients. Yeah, good point. Yeah, all right. Oh, so what? Who, why? Who? How? Who? We're, 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 listen, I'm going to say it again. Trey Young is 5'11". He's a defensive liability. He has led the whole league in turnovers since he walked in the door and started playing the yes. NBA basketball. Yes. And last year, he shot 33% from three. It's horrible. It, you, you don't want to compound your issues. LeBron's not the greatest three-point shooter. You want those two guys in your backcourt? Seriously? I'm just trying to figure out who in their right mind would think that, that would even broach the subject of AD for Trey Young. I don't know. And somehow Trey Young had surfaced as a possible that they had. Just because he coming to the game with Rich Paul, that don't mean. That's a good point. Yep. I, I don't see him. I don't see the fit. He is a very good passer, but he's not LeBron. Yeah. Okay. But you give up AD for Trey Young. So, so okay. Well, who <laughs> going to play defense? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> he, he is. If he's not the best rim protector, he's one up. Yes. Two or three. And even he done block his shot, he alters the shot. So he's going to give me the same number of points as yep. Trey Young. He's going to give me more rebounds than Trey Young. Obviously not the assists, but the block shots and the intimidation. Yep. Yeah. He's going to shoot a higher percentage from them. Look, if your Lakers had lost four straight games by 20, an average of 20 a game, then I'd be having a different conversation because I'd be totally with you right now. Yeah. You got problems. You need to blow it up and start over. That's no. not what happened. No, they don't explode. Right? right? No. I mean, you 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 crushed Memphis and you you yeah. you basically flexed your superiority. Yeah, yeah, we did, we did it did on Golden State. You Let did. them know what's yeah. up. All right. So there you go. Yeah. All is not lost. All is just starting. Hey, and don't come back, Golden State. Got some more for that. Got some more for you next year. Well, they, I'm not sure they're gonna come back as either. Oh, it don't matter. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be whoever there. Whatever's left of them. We're gonna and beat them too. Okay. Shannon, let's not forget, as this Lakers squad looks at their offseason moves, you've also got the number 17 and the number 47 draft pick. Oh, we trade now. We trade now. Trade and they're gone? Yeah, yeah we trade now. 17th too? 17 ain't going to help All right. us. We'll, we'll find out. We'll see. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.